Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's an awesome day today. It is a really a awesome, awesome day today because God has, God has woke us up for such a time as this for a reason is so we can minister to other people about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so we can tell people the testimony, what God has done in our lives. And it's not about like, like people always, um, people always tell me, it's not about me. It's not about, about, um, about me. It's all about what God is doing. Okay. I'm going to pray right now before I start this live. I probably won't stay on too, too, too long, but I don't want to stay on for two hours. I'll probably stay on for until like about nine o'clock my time. Okay. I don't know what time it would be your guys' time. Okay. But I wanted to share, I'm going to pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you that you have given us this day, Lord. For as such a time as this, God, for a time to worship you, to give you all the glory, God. Thank you, Lord, for, for this day. Thank you that you brought us through this day. You got us through the night, Lord. Um, even if there were spiritual attacks, God, we come against those spiritual attacks today, Lord. And we came against those spiritual attacks last night like I did last night. There was a spiritual attack on me last night. And I took authority over that spiritual attack. It was on my life. And it was trying to stop me from doing what, what God wants me to do. And God, thank you for giving me that authority for who I am in you, God. I have the authority in you, God, to tell, to tell the enemy where to go in the name of Jesus and tell him and stand my grounds in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, thank you for all my brothers and my sisters, God, that you speak to them. You speak to them different, different ways, God. You speak to them different ways, Lord. And, and you, um, you manifest yourself in different ways how you do with me, God. You, you speak to me different ways how you speak to my brothers and my sisters, God. You, it's not the same, Lord. It's never, it's never the same. Thank you, God. Thank you for waking us up this morning, God, that we get to praise you this morning. We get to worship you this morning and give you the highest praise. And Lord, send your glory down. Send your glory down into, a, a, in, into our lives, God. Into Rapid City, into all the cities around, around the United States, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless my brothers and my sisters in Jesus' name. Amen. I wanted to I wanted to share something today. What's been really on my mind, been really what I've been really wanting to been sharing. And I think it was a it was a couple couple weeks ago. Couple of weeks ago. Um I think it was um I think it was before before May or June, I think. Yeah, I think it it was before May. It was sometime in April or May, sometime between this. This one person, this one friend of mine, I don't I try not to bring names up on on lives here. And so this friend of mine calls me up between eleven eleven and twelve, okay? Between eleven and twelve. La, um, that, that that this was on a uh, I think it was on a Monday night, and yeah, it was on a Monday night, and they asked me if I would put this person up, 
And I says, sure, one night, that's it. So next thing led to another, and then it led to another, and then it led to another. And then I was um, doing other things, and then this one person, this one friend, decided to drop all this person's stuff on my on my on my porch okay on my patio and not realizing that people can go through that stuff and steal things or or what <coughs> <coughs> so that day i was between a rock and a hard place and i kept saying god i need your help I need your help, God. I really need your help. God didn't come through. He didn't come through right away. And some people think that God is going to come spiritually and just come and just rescue you right there. And so, so that day when that day came and this lady, this one friend, um, this lady was out on her on on my porch. It's like all of her stuff is out on my, on her porch, and this other lady, it knew it, um, called me and said, um, "Will it, will it be all right if she um, can stay at my place?" And I go, "Yeah, for one night." But she wanted her to stay at my place for another night and store all of her stuff in my basement. And I go, and she. This lady, this lady said, this friend of mine, uh, this friend said that I'm the one that said it. I'm the one that said that it was okay to put her stuff in the basement. And I go, no, I did not say that one bit. I did not say that. So, so I said, that person was putting words in my mouth. Okay, so what happens, I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. I was over, over at another church, and I says, God, I need your help. I really need your help. So I came back over, I came back over, walked back over, and see what happened. See the pastor it knows me from a from this other church. He he saw the expression on my face. He saw the expressions on my body, how my body was acting and how my face I it's just like I was just so fear I was just so frustrated. So I said, "Okay, I'm going to go over there. Go come back over to my place." The lady is sitting on her porch on my porch here. She says, can you, can I put my stuff in my ba in your basement? And I go, no. I said, I did not give you that permission. And she says, but this other lady said that you said I can, I can do this. And I go, no, I didn't. I did not say you can have, you can put your stuff down there. She was putting words in my mouth. I says, I'm not very happy about that. So, I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. So the Lord told me, go back inside my house. Take, calm down, calm down, Royce. He knew, God knew that I was frustrated. I was frustrated in deep down inside my spirit. I was frustrated in my head, frustrated in my spirit. I was frustrated. It's like, God, I need your help here. I really need your help. So God says, call Pastor John. Call Pastor John. And I go, okay. So, so I call Pastor John. I said, Pastor John, I need, I really need your help. I, he, the church is right across across the way from me. I only just have to do is walk to his church. And 
So I, so he says, okay. He was waiting on me. He didn't want to say anything to me. He didn't want to step in. He did not want to step in. Unless if I said, okay, Pastor John, I want you to step in, okay? He didn't want, he didn't want to step in. So, so he waited for me to take the action into calling him and asking him for help. Okay? So that's what I did. I called Pastor John. I says, Pastor John, I need your help. I'm stuck between a rock in a hard place right now. I need your help. And he says, do you want me to come over and help you? And I go, yes, please do come over. And he came over right, he came over right away, guys. He came over right away. You know what the Lord told me? The Lord's showing me. He says, Royce. Even if I don't respond right away and I don't respond, I'm waiting for you. He says, I was waiting for you to do your part in responding and acting on your part. And I go, okay. And then when, when, when after I got done calling Pastor John and... Pastor John, and to help me, the Lord says, see, I helped you. It doesn't always have to be me always stepping in, always stepping in spiritually. I can step in through people coming into your life and helping you. So I did help you through the people, through that person. Through Pastor John, Pastor John helped you because you called upon, you called upon me. And what happens when you call upon me, I helped you. And then you got help through calling Pastor John. Pastor John came and helped you, got you out of the situation. So that's my testimony. What God wanted me to give, when you call upon God and you keep calling upon God, and I just wanted to leave this with you guys. When something is not right in your life and something's not going right, like, like, like say if today something's not going right in your life today, Call upon God. Call upon Holy Spirit, Jesus, God, all of them. Call on them and keep, keep calling on God. Keep calling on Him. Okay? No matter if He does not answer, it doesn't mean that He did not answer right. It doesn't mean that He's not listening. It doesn't mean that he did not say, no, I'm not going to help you. That doesn't mean that. That means God wants you to go through this. God wanted me to go through this to test my patience. Not to test my patience. To, to, see, to see how I would handle it. If I'm going to handle it in anger. If I'm going to handle it in peace. So what did I do? I handled it in peace. The peaceful way. And the peaceful way is like I called on Pastor John to help me. To help me get out of the situation. And the Lord says, see what I can do when you keep calling on me. And you don't do it for your, you don't, you don't do it, you don't try to do it on your own. So I didn't do it on my own. God helped me through other people. And other people, other people say, oh, you call on Jesus. Okay, so when you call on Jesus, you keep 
calling on Jesus. You keep calling on Him and you keep calling on Him and you keep calling on Him and you allow Him and you wait and you wait for the answer for God to, to tell you what you need to do. Because I kept calling on God all day that day when that happened. And when that happened, when, when that happened, guys, I says, God, you need to get me out of this situation. You need to help me get out of this situation. Help me get out of this situation. I can't do it by myself. I need help. By your help, God. I need your help. And God, God didn't help right away, right this second. But when you keep calling on God and asking God to help, I need your help, God. I need your help. Help, help, help. God, I am struggling here. I am calling on you, God. I need your help. I need your help, God. Don't give up on God if he doesn't help you right away. Keep praying. Keep pressing into God. Keep pressing in. Keep asking. Keep asking and keep pressing. And keep pressing in. Keep pressing in and just say, God, like, like that day when that happened to me, Guys, I wanted to say, like like that day when that happened to me. That day when that happened to me. I kept pressing in to God. I kept pressing in. I kept pressing in. I kept pressing in. I kept I kept pressing in. And I says, God, I need your help. I need your help. And I just really thank God for helping me. And I really thank God. That he put people in my life to help me. Because God puts people in our lives to help us get out of situations. Okay? No matter if God is... God wants us to do our part in getting... Finding ways of getting out of the situation. But still call on him. I'm not saying don't, don't talk to Jesus... Don't, don't call on Jesus. Don't call on, don't call on him. I'm just saying we need to keep pressing in and keep pressing in to God and say, God, I need your help. I need your help. That day, I thank God when that, that day was over with. That night, I was sitting at my recliner. God said, See what I can do, Royce? See what I can do? And I says, yeah. He said, I can help you. When you call on me and you press into me and then you do your part too, we work together. What God was telling me, we need to press into him. Here's me. And here's God, okay? Here's God. I have to keep pressing into God and keep pressing in and keep pressing in and keep pressing into God. Keep pressing in until there's there's something. It's breaking, breaking, breaking through. And, and, and you just keep praying. You keep pressing into God until there's a breakthrough, until something happens. That day when that happened, God says, I'm so proud of you, son. I'm so proud of you that you pressed into me. You pressed into me. You pressed in and you kept pressing in. You kept pressing in. You kept pressing in. You did not, you did not, you did not say, God, I wish you would just do this. I wish you would uh, take this away. Take this away. I did not wish anything. I just said, God, I need your help. And I kept pressing in and pressing in. And pressing into God that day. And when you keep pressing into God, people. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing into God. Press in to God. That means 
What that means by keep pressing in, that means keep talking to him. Keep talking to him all day long. Don't, don't wait until you have this trouble. Don't wait until you have trouble here. Don't wait until you, until this problem rises up. Don't wait until this problem rises up. Don't wait until you have, have, have an issue with a friend. Don't wait. Ask, keep asking God to keep pressing into God to help you through these, the, through the days. And if it wasn't because of me calling on God, calling and God telling me to call Pastor John, to call Pastor John, I wouldn't be, I would, I probably would have, that person still would have been here. I wouldn't have known what to do. With my kind heart, I would probably say, okay, go ahead and stay another night with my kind heart. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you're not loving, you're not loving. Jesus loved, Jesus loves people. Jesus would never turn people away like that. But Jesus did not say for me to be a doormat or for any of us to be a doormat. So, take this, take this, if you guys want to, share this video, if you want to, if, if, if it's on your heart to share it, share this video. You all have a blessed day. My name is Royce Freeman, and I call myself Pastor Freeman, Past, Pastor Freeman. And the mighty man of God. And so I wanted to share this testimony. It's been, it's been on my heart. Don't forget to call on God. Don't ever forget to call on God. Don't ever, ever, ever forget to call on God. Because God will bring you through, through, through it. God brought me through that. So trust God that he's going to bring you through. He's going to bring you through, through, bring you out through everything. When you trust him and you press into God and you talk to God. Okay. And everyone else be praying for me. Keep me in prayer. Just keep me in prayer, okay? God bless you all. Be blessed. I am blessed. From the mighty man of God and Pastor Royce Freeman. God bless you all. Be blessed. Remember, Jesus loves you and so, uh, so do I. God bless you.